This video clip is one you have to see to believe. It's from Italian TV, and they just mocked the living daylights out of Biden. Now, I want to say this before I play the clip. If Italian TV is portraying Biden this way, then there's reality in what they're saying. Okay, there's truth in this. Obviously, are they going to over-exaggerate things? Yes, but they're going to reveal how the rest of the world views this guy. With that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Buonasera, Presidente Biden. <laughs> Presidente. Good evening, Mr. Pre no, President uh, Biden. President. Here we are, President Presi uh, President Biden. Qui. Here. Yes, yes. Good evening. Buonasera. Yes. Yes. Eh? I said to the president of Israel, sì. Mikhail Gorbachev. No, no, non è Gorbachev, non è Gorbachev il presidente dell'Israele, no, no. Sorry, Michael Jordan. No, 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 no. When he went to the moon. Quando è andato sulla luna. And he was shot from Dallas. Ma non hanno sparato a lui a Dallas, quello è Kennedy. No, sia fermo, fermo, Presidente. Presidente. Long shot from Dallas to the moon. Si sta, si sta confondendo con Kennedy. Uh, 14 sì. millions. Sì. Eh? Mi miles. Fort, fort. Mi Vabbè, ma, uh, non è, ma non è lui, Presidente. To, uh, Mr. President. His wife La moglie. Tried to bring him. No, ma quello è Kennedy. È Into the cabriolet, do you... No, no, sta yeah. facendo confusione, Presidente. Yes. Sta facendo confusione, evidente. Sorry, eh? Sì. It was on the moon. Non è andato sulla It was luna. Mars. No. Mars attack. Ma che Mars attack? No. Beautiful no. film. Eh? Where Netanyahu sang. No, ma Netanyahu, no. Netanyahu è, è, è il Presidente di Israele. Non cantava. Over. Over. The cantare. garage. No, the rainbow era. Vabbè. Ma... It's opened by... This. Cosa fa? Dove va, Presidente? Cosa fa? Presidente? Mr. President. No. What are you going? Stay, stay, stay quiet. Ecco. Ok. No, no, no. Please, please, please. Cosa sta dicendo? Cosa sta facendo? No, no. È, la è la valigetta dei codici atomici quella no no, no. no. lei non sta bene no no <ride> gliela hanno fatto grossa forse I, I forgot to take the pills no ma non sono le pillole non, è, non sono no, le medicine I call the, the nurse. no 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 non no no <ride> All right. <ride> ok I, I just composed my <ride> All right, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like I got to give you something beyond just the skit that you saw. Is it the handlers that Biden has, his wife and those who are around him? that are really the most at fault for this? The answer is yes, because they can see the cognitive decline. It's like it's like when you have any family member who's getting older and they're not quite aware of how bad things are. Now, as a loving family member, you make sure you tell them, help them out, lead them around, and make sure that they don't have too many responsibilities or too many things on their plate that they're not capable of handling anymore. But what we're seeing right now in the United States of America is a man declining before the public and his handlers, his wife, and his family continuing to push him out like a puppet so that they can continue to have power. Italy sees this, Europe sees this, Latin America, China, Russia, they all see it. And it's a big joke around the world. I understand Trump has his things too. Italian TV can come out and they can make a, a mockery of Trump too, right? But the mockery of Trump is not gonna be on his cognitive decline or his ability to even make his way around a stage. They're gonna mock Trump over other things, the way that he talks, his hair, the way that he tans his skin, the way that he talks sort of crudely about people, you know. But this doesn't mean cognitive decline for Trump. Trump's policy decisions are awesome. And a lot of people say, you know, when Trump goes out there and he does make fun of Biden, 
you know, every now and again. We'll, we'll stop making fun of Biden. Tell us about your policies. He already is telling you about his policies. He is going to prevent these illegal border crossings that we're seeing. That's a policy decision. He is going to make sure that the United States is energy independent. He is going to increase oil drilling. He is going to ensure that the United States has favorable trade agreements. He is going to work to end the war in Ukraine by having some sort of compromise there. I could also see him working to end the conflict in Israel as well. When it comes to the inner cities, he is going to work to try and end the crime that's happening. Now he has to work with the state governors and the city mayors in order to do this, so he can't you know, handedly do it. So he's telling you what his policy decisions are. So if you're liberal, don't pretend like you don't know what Donald Trump is. Well, just tell us what you're gonna do. He's telling you what he's gonna do. You either agree with those things or you don't. If you don't, you agree with what Biden's doing. Biden has an open border policy right now. So let's stop pretending like it's not an open border policy, okay? We have two over 2 million people pouring in every year. Do the math, work it out, how many people that is per day. They're not even turning people back at this point. They're lifting the razor wire. They're allowing everyone in. They're flooding the cities with these people. This is clearly the policy. They have restricted the amount of energy independence that we've had. They've placed further government restrictions on oil. If you think that an ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia is a good thing, stick with Biden because this is what this guy has been. It's just funding this war, not talking with Putin to try to figure out some sort of compromise here. The United States just keeps pressing forward, pushing on with this. It's going to be another ongoing, never-ending conflict like the ones that we've read about in history that over time we all realize, wait, maybe the United States should have worked to try to end this thing and resolve this thing rather than sending you know aid and stuff in the eventually our own people into these places. If that's what you're for, then you're for Biden, right? So you know the policy decisions. Back to the skit. This guy, the world, the whole world knows it. Another four years? Do you even think it's possible that Biden can make it another four years? We all know it's not. If you had to put a bet on if Biden won, does he make it the next four years? The over under, I don't know, a year maybe, eight months, 10 months, there's no way he's going the whole four years. This is just not gonna happen. I mean, the medication will wear off and we have two choices in front of us right now, Biden and Trump. It's not even close. I understand many of you maybe don't like Trump. You don't like the way he is, but it's not even close. If you care about your country, Trump is not gonna destroy the country. He's already been president for four years. They told you it was going to get destroyed, but it didn't. Actually, there was less conflict under Trump, world conflict under Trump. Oh, he's going to ruin the economy. Did it get ruined? It's going to ruin your jobs. Did it? Nothing happened, except actually the United States was doing quite well. And then we had a little pandemic come through that we're finding more and more information about every day on that as well. Trump is the clear decision. Anyway... What are your thoughts on this? Leave your comments below. I'll catch you on the next video.